Philippines online dating, does it work? Um, I would say it's a starting point, it's not a marriage certificate. The point being is you can meet a lot of people very quickly and then start filtering people out that you're matched with, who are scammers, who are people you want to associate with, people that you're not 100% with, some that you really click with. Until you get, like, say you start with like 150 people, you can get it down to about 20 or 30. Then over the period of time, you can get that down to about five. Uh, because things happen, you know, for example, if you're not going out to the Philippines very soon, what you can find is that they are already talking to another five, ten guys, even though they say they're not, and one of them actually goes and makes a marriage, marriage proposal. Those sort of things are quite common. Um, but you also may find that they just go offline one day and just disappear. This could be that the fact is the boyfriend, the husband, or whatever, has found out that they're online dating. But you'll also find that you meet some really nice and genuine people that are just looking for the right guy in their life. It's somebody that completes them, somebody that um, they can connect with. I like online dating from the sense that if you spend enough time on it, um, you can save yourself a lot of headaches. Um, what I mean is if you start communicating with somebody and you're talking for six months, a year, and you understand a lot about them, you know, the, they show you around their, the family house and all this sort of stuff, and you get to understand the inner workings with them due to the communication online is the lifeline of how you stay in touch, you can get around a lot of the headaches that other people face. Uh, for example, when a guy talks to somebody for five weeks, flies out of the Philippines, gets married, and then three months later finds out she's got two kids already and a, a long-term boyfriend, that shouldn't really happen to you if you do your due diligence and look at where she is, what she's doing, what time she's doing. Um, because you start to build a picture of her life in the same way she's building a picture of your life. Um, this means that it works both ways, but it also shows where the compatibility is. Um, one of the big problems is a lot of women are just looking to get out of the Philippines or whatever. So the first thing I would say is that I'm, I'm moving to the Philippines because that'll get rid of a lot of people instantly. Um, even from a scamming per, uh, perspective, a lot of them do not want the person they're scamming coming to the Philippines. So that cuts them out instantly. Um, but at the same time, if you're serious about it, just spend a bit of time talking to people. There's nothing that says you have to commit straight away and you'll probably find one day something just clicks with one person and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that one person that just stands out and is the person that suits you and you, know, you, know, she, you suit her. Simple as that. But yeah, I wouldn't not do online dating if you were looking for a partner in the Philippines because it's the easiest way to meet people. I wouldn't say the quality of people is uh, percentage-wise is high. The good people, I'd say, probably, I don't know, no idea. But I've got a, from what I've spoken to with people, they start off with about 400, 200, 150 people, end up with about five to 10 people. Um, there's your figures there, you know, you're, you're, you're less than 10%. Thanks for watching.